Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Christmas look. Uh, this is off the top of my head and um, I am going to be using my Urban Decay Book of Shadows 4. Um, if you read my, if you watch my last video you, you'll know why. But I'm just going to dive straight into it and I'm going to start. So first I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's got this new squeezy tube. So you can get more out of it, which is brilliant. And no, it's not cheap. I paid £14.50 for this. And it's just a one-off, so I'm going to go slow with it. Okay, my eyes are all primed now. And then um, I'm going to show you the, the, this little book of shadows. It is beautiful. And I've got it for £30 down from £60, which is a bargain for Urban Decay. Here it is. And you get a little mirror so you can do your looks here. It's got these little plastic butterflies on. Um, you get some pop-up butterflies here. And then here you get like a little card. But basically, if you have a smartphone you can scan the code. Here are the codes. And it will show you some looks you can do with this set. Which I think is brilliant you can get what you pay for then so that's there and if you move up you will have a little speaker here where you can plug your phone in so you can hear it and this is the wire what you use to plug your phone in here you get some uh, that primer potion a little sample it's beautiful here you get some urban decay mascara which is absolutely beautiful it is awesome and here is some liquid eyeliner called 24-7 which is really cool too and here are all your eyeshadows and you get loads of colours and today I'm going to be using this one this one this one and this one and a little bit of this one now if you don't have Urban Decay that's absolutely fine you can actually get colours like this in general makeup palettes and you just need lots of browns that are all shimmery and then um, you don't need to spend stupid amounts of money just to have this look I'm just using Urban Decay because that's what colours I have so first I'm going to start off with the darkest brown which is called Lost um, if you have it and I'm going to use a really fluffy brush and I'm just going to cover it now it's really dark it actually blends in with the brush uh, and this is going to be going on the outer corner of my eye right here. I'm just going to get my cool mirror. And I'm just going to blend it in. And I'm going to just dab it like all over the outer corner. Now just leave it like this. Like you have a black eye. And just leave it like that and because you're going to do all the blending later. Next I'm going to go for the next uh, brown down which is a little lighter and it's called Midnight Rodeo if you have it and I'm going to cover my brush in that too it's this beautiful shimmery brown, it's absolutely beautiful gorgeous and I'm just going to dab this next to Lost now as you see I have makeup all over my eye here, this is why I haven't done the foundation yet Next, I'm going to go for the next brown, which is called Baked. It's like a really shimmery goldy brown, it's really nice. I'm just going to put that next to Midnight Rodeo. And as you can see, I'm just getting lighter and lighter, and it's really blending in with my skin now. And you can't really see it. But I love these colours because they're really sparkly and it's perfect for Christmas. Now, I'm going to take the next Midnight one, which is called Midnight Cowgirl. And it's this really light shimmery one, it's really, really light, as you can tell. And I'm going to put that next to Baked. You really don't need that much of that one. And the very last one is called Skimp. It's like a pastel pink peach colour. And I'm putting this right in the corner. Now you can see that looks a real mess right now, but now it's time to blend it all out.
Right, as you can see, it's all blended out. Um, oh, really nicely too. And you can see I've got this really big flick here. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it, like on my last Winter Frost video. And I'm just going to make it a straight cat's eyes kind of look. Get some really good wipes and just... Now I really want this look to be aimed at girls all ages, so from age 12, um, if you're allowed to wear makeup. So I'm not going to use loads, I've got all this eyeshadow on, so I'm just going to use like a little bit of black to bring it out a little. So what I'm going to do, instead of using thick eyeliner on top, I'm going to use an angled brush and get some really shimmery black, this shimmery black here. It's, um, there's no make on it but I got it from like a drug drugstore in New York and it's just a cheap little black shimmery black. You see? Oh look at that, it's beautiful! And it's one of my favourite blacks anyway. And uh, I'm just going to, as you can see, I'm just going to get it on the edge of the brush. I'm almost put the Christmas songs on. I love it. And I don't want loads on there. And I'm just going to go over the top of my eye and underneath. So, yeah, just going around the edge with the black. But not too much because this is just like a nice little sophisticated look whilst you're with your family at Christmas. See? It just like brings out your eye a bit more. Uh, without using so much black. Now for those who want to use eyeliner, uh, I won't suggest putting any on top because you'll just ruin your smoky eyed brown look and I would just put it on your waterline up to the corner and out. Now if you want your eyes to really pop, I suggest using white eyeliner and then they'll really stand out, which is really cool. Mm. Now I am going to add some mascara, my favourite colourful uh, Volume Express. I don't understand how, how I still have some of this left, but I do. Now to make your lashes really stand out, you don't always have to use false eyelashes. I hate using false eyelashes all the time because the glue that I use is some really good glue and uh, I paid like quite a bit for it instead of the one that comes in the packet and then um, it always gets like stuck to my eye and the next morning it's, my eyes all like stuck together and I'm just like trying to wake up and I can't because of this, this uh, glue so I'm not going to use false eyelashes today and I'm going to use these some eyelash curlers Anyway, and then I'm going to use these instead of false eyelashes uh, because they still do the same effect, so go for it. Now, because it's Christmas and we're going for the sparkly look, I'm going to use the same black shimmery eyeshadow on the angled brush again. And I'm going to get lots on there, and this is. I'm going to do my eyebrows with this too. There we go, I've done both eyes. La di da da da. Right now, I'm going to do my foundation and I'm going to let you watch me how I do it and then uh, I'll speed it up obviously. And now I'm going to use my year old Max Factor Experience and I'm using dark gypsum to match my skin colour. Obviously, you use the foundation that matches your skin colour and then um, this cost £10 and I've explained it loads before in my other video and for a tenner it lasted a year and it still works perfectly so let's check it out make sure you use a foundation brush and put some on your hand first okay
wow this camera makes me like a ghost with the foundation on Woo. right now my foundation's done I'm going to um, tone it out a little and I'm going to do some contouring so I'm going to take a big brush a big thick fluffy one and I'm going to like nip the brush itself until it's like a thin brush and I'm just going to do this and I'm going <laughs> to my sun kiss is all broken up I'm going to have to buy some more I recommend not using sun kiss unless you have like a dark tone skin because if you have light skin it makes you look like you're orange so I wouldn't use it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick this on my old broken up sun kiss like this and just have it on the edge and I'm going to um, just brush down under my cheekbones and it's going to break up my foundation a bit so it's not all like one solid colour so I'm just going to do this on like down my cheeks and just keep doing it until it's blended out because you don't just want a thick line okay and I'm going to bring it up to my cheek to add a little colour to that because I don't use blusher uh, because I already have red cheeks and I don't like it <laughs> There we go, blend it out. See, it's just defined my cheeks a little. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Don't forget to pinch your brush. And once you've got your defined line on there, I'm going to use it all fluffy and I'm just going to blend it all out. I'm going to use the darker tone. And I'm not going to put much on at all. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to use the apple of my cheeks like this. There we go. Now, if you have lighter skin, I suggest using lighter powders and not sun kissed. Right, now that's done, um, I'm going to use some lip gloss. I'm just going to use this pink. It's just a nice, like, shimmery pink, and you can barely see it on your lips. So it's like clear, but it adds that, like, tint of pink on your lips. So that's it, that's the final look. Want to close up. And you can see it's like really subtle and it's really really pretty. Um I was thinking like if you really want big eyelashes, like put some mascara on, wait five minutes and put some more on, and then they'll look really really like big like mine are now and a lot more natural than those fake ones. You when you close your eyes you can tell the your lashes. Now I'm going to be doing this look for Christmas Day and I'd love it if you all did this too and um, I don't think many people will see this video till Christmas anyway but you can use it anytime if you just want a nice little look. Also don't always wear foundation it's really not good for your skin. Your skin needs to breathe so you can still wear eye makeup but don't always use foundation because it's really not good for you and you'll get all crusty and it's horrible and you get spots and it's like ah. Um, so please comment, rate and subscribe, tell me what you think and I will put some pictures up at the end. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for another makeup tutorial in the week. And, and I'll not see you again after Christmas so have a really 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 good Christmas and enjoy the Boxing Day sales which I cannot wait for. Right, thanks for watching, bye!